those who don't know 26 AR, who's 26 AR? 26 AR? Yeah. Niggas know I'm quick to up. Hey, Money on my head, and I'm guessing my men's pit it up. Them shots you throwing face, who won't hit me, nigga, come spit it up. I think niggas paralyzed, they arms never lifting up. Why you leave me stranded, but a bitch you run and pick her up. Corona, man, I'm sick as fuck. My bitch pretty thick as fuck. Broke, nigga, fix it up. Made 20K, quick as fuck. Niggas might be 63rd the way these niggas quick to duck. I ain't got no luggage, but this bag I got is big as fuck. He said he wanted ride, so I made little Brody lift him up. Slime, know what the fuck going on, we in the memory, about to get a fit, this show, go crazy, Gucci, chillin', ah uh, yeah, how can I help you today, shit, you know I'm trying to finish the fit, I'm about to get, yeah, that I know belt. you had the, um, the leopard print joint right over there, yeah. the jacket, you need any jeans for it, yeah, I want them jeans, alright, well, how do you want to go for again, a 30, 32, 32, I got you covered, I'm gonna bring two different uh, jeans to you, yeah, yeah take a look around, alright, alright, bye, bye. Shit, we dripping, you heard? You know I put that shit on every time. Yeah, the drench. Shit. We just, we just drench, you heard? There's no really, ain't no explanation for that shit. We just drench, you heard? That's really it. Yeah. yeah, I was just in the background when I savage shit, you heard? Um, so, like, how do you kind of like feel now that like people are like trying to recognize you more and more? Like? It feels amazing. Yeah. It feels like hard work is finally paying off. King Drench. Like, it just means like King Drench. It's not really to it. <laughs> it means what it means, you heard? If you know me, you know that shit. That's all I'm gonna say about that. There you can fly. This one, that one, or that one. The jacket actually has this shit. This in it. That's what I'm saying. I might do this shit. You see those? I'm good. I'll be right. I'm doing the end. Yeah, he he out there right now. <laughs> Here they come. He told me, I've been doing what's up. He had a car right there. All right, like well. Me and Oaf, man. The famous Oaf right there. You know what the fuck going on? When I was locked up, just thinking all the time. You feel me? That shit drove me to music. I was bored. I been getting locked up, though. I was getting locked up since I was like 13. In and out of jail, but then when I was like 16, I did four years straight. Right? That's when I started making music and shit. Cause Brooklyn, like Brooklyn, was just turning up the music and shit. My man's was turning up before we got booked and shit. My man's Nico on him was turning up the music, but then we got indicted. And then Brooklyn was just going up. I was hearing about it, and that shit just made me want to turn up. I feel like the we about to go to Aviani real quick. Get the jewels right, you heard? Shine these bitches. Niggas talking about they got the city, man. I don't know. My boy, Gucci. Ah, uh, yeah. My boy, Phil, man, you heard? It's right now. What you doing? It's a fly. Make a merry on me, you know what they want for those? Niggas, bitches, how you up in, ain't you head toes? I'm that nigga though, you know what I want for shows? Tap in, hit my belt, hundred dollars a pro. That bitch left me up in jail, that's just how I go. Ain't tryna go back, but if they play, I'ma slide on parole. Niggas always acting crazy when they not a threat. The 16 seasons in that can, nigga, I'm a vet. Shit, I met him. Uh, at the old location of this spot, like, hey. just on some engineering shit, like, I was, really got hired to record him for a loud time. I was really an intern at first, and then, hey. fucking, he let me engineer the session. That was actually, like, one of my, like, first three sessions at, at the studio. It was oh, crazy. Like, I, I got a call from a loud that was like, yo, these dudes trying to record. It was, like, 
2 a.m. already. I don't even remember that. Shit. It was 2 a.m. already. Like I was like, okay, bet I came from my crib in Brooklyn to the city to record on. Bro, we be saying that to all our shit though. And I was like, for real, like the first one. Like I remember going home that day and listening to it and whatever, and being like, oh yeah, this this is hard. Uh, yeah. This, this 26 hours is pretty fire. Like, <laughs> yeah, have you? Like that's what we was doing at first day. Like. I'd be like, yo, I just wrote some shit. I need a beat to this shit, you heard? He sent me mad beats. And I just pick whatever one and go to that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I could feel me, I fuck with them, because, like, I can tell them how I want this shit. They gonna do it like that. Like, a lot of producers can't do that shit. They, they, they know my sound, you heard? So, that shit. That's why I fuck with them. Like, I, like, as the family, man, the, the pain, the struggle we went through, you heard? That's what kept me going with this shit. Me wanting things, and me wanting to do for, for others, you heard? Man, we just gonna keep going crazy. We just gonna keep feeding the fans, giving them what they want, you heard? Keep drenching shit. Who your managers? Gabby and Sharice. My managers, they always on top of me. They make sure I'm on time, and I'm doing what I have to do. That ass though. <laughs> like all that paperwork shit, and all that, I ain't into that shit, but they make sure I do that shit. Keeps me, keeps me on track. I don't know what I would do without them.